Coming up next, I should be wearing a smoking jacket, but got my Miami, inter Miami jersey on today. I'm gonna do a video, my top three favorite tobacco fragrances. There's many of these that I love. There's so many great tobacco perfumes, but these are the three that I always come back to as far as just capturing that essence of the beautiful tobacco smell. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose at Osme Perfumery in my inter Miami Jersey. Uh, anyways, for all you soccer fans out there, uh, today's video again is going to be my favorite tobacco fragrances and there's really a lot that I could go with here. Uh, probably one of, probably my all time favorite, which I don't have here today because I, uh, it was actually the distributors are not distributing it anymore here in the US. You can buy it online, but uh, that's Outre Cuidant uh, by uh, uh, Histoires. And that is Outre Cuidant. Outre Cuidant is my favorite tobacco fragrance of all time. But since that's not really readily available, you can't come in, you can't smell it at a place like Osme here in the United States, I wanted to stick with three that I absolutely adore, and these, some of these are gonna be a surprise, some may not. So let's go, starting right with my number three choice. I think this is a very popular uh, tobacco fragrance, of course, from BDK Tobacco Rose. Uh, this one, I like this one because that rose tobacco combination is really a perfect, melding of scents that just kind of the smokiness of the tobacco, the, the sharpness and the cleanliness and that kind of freshness of a rose, perfect combination. Uh, you see that a lot. So in a lot of tobacco fragrances, you will see that rose tobacco combination. I think pretty much everyone here <laughs> that I'm talking about today has that combination, but tobacco rose really to me is the best com combining those two fragrances together. Let me just, I'm gonna you know, spray it right here on my skin so you guys can see my reaction. Yeah, it's, it really is to me, this is like a perfect combination of, it's like 50% when you smell it rose, 50% tobacco and there's not one of these two is really a, a dominant note to me. Although as it dries down, the tobacco becomes more prevalent. So it starts out almost even maybe a little bit more of a rose kind of fragrance, but that dry down is pure, beautiful tobacco. Now, next I'm gonna go with a relatively new fragrance that came out in the last couple of years from Lark, the French niche house, and this is Chrysalide talked about this one you know a few months ago I first got my nose on this about six months ago and this is the I would say the almost opposite of tobacco fragrance that tobacco rose is this one is very very intense you when you put this on there's no mistaking you have chrysalide this is a uniquely smelling fragrance that is so strong and so intense with the tobacco spray right here Yeah, it is one of my favorite, favorite releases, top 10 releases in the last couple years. Uh, I love this house. Lark is such a quality French niche perfume house. But this one is, it stands out, okay? You know, this is not gonna be for everybody. Tobacco Rose is gonna be more good for men or women, and it's good for a beginning niche um, fragrance lover to the most seasoned. This is gonna be more of a true niche head. A true niche lover, it's not gonna be necessarily, I think this is more for men, it's not gonna be really for women. This is not as uh, unisex as Tobacco Rose. This is gonna be, I mean, like, how do I say? This is like alpha male fragrance. So if you wanna smell alpha male, you wanna come into a room, you wanna dominate, you wanna assert your kind of superiority or your masculinity, Chrysalide 
is going to be one to do it. Beautiful, beautiful again, tobacco fragrance that just, it's like, this reminds me of, as far as the tobacco goes, a smell that is like a cigar almost smell, like a fresh cut Cuban cigar mixed with oud and all kinds of other stuff. That leads me to my number one, and this is a classic that I haven't actually talked about in a while. This is number four, Montabaco Intensivo. Intensivo. Intensivo, Intensivo from Ormond Jane. Ormond Jane, I haven't talked about them as much lately. Um, you know, again, for whatever reason, you know, you kind of go as you're going through your fragrance journey. This is one of the very first fragrances I ever smelled when it came to the niche world. And it is, to me, still one of the absolute tobacco classics. This came out, I believe, around 2013 or so, so it's almost 10 years old. There are uh, some flankers, some different versions of the Montebac. There's Montebac Verano, which came out a couple years ago, which is a, a little bit more updated, modern, fresher version. But if you want a true classic tobacco fragrance that's not overwhelming, so this is not going to be as, as intense or uh, concentrated, for example, as crystallite. This is much more wearable, and I'm gonna put it on my skin right here. And this reminds me, oh, Maybe the reason why I like this is it's, this reminds me of a classic British gentleman's fragrance. I can picture James Bond wearing this or some, you know, maybe Sean Connery. It's fresh. It's a little bit citrusy. It's invigorating. It reminds me, for those of you, I never smoked, but my parents, my grandmother used to smoke when I was a kid. There would be uh, packs of cigarettes laying around the house. You'd pick them up. I'd smell them and that smell of a fresh cigarette pack. When you open it and you smell inside, that's what this reminds me of. It really captures that pure tobacco leaf, but in a light, fresh, very wearable, and very approachable, everyday type fragrance. So if you don't have this one, I highly recommend it. It's very versatile. Again, you can wear it everywhere. Oh, it's, it's, it's a masterpiece in my mind for the tobacco fragrance lover. Um, all right, there you have it, guys. Let me know what are some of your favorite tobacco fragrances. I could have gone on. The list could have been so exhaustive. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's so many great fragrances that I could have talked about, but I wanted to narrow it down to three. Again, I try, as you see in my videos, to bring you fragrances that maybe you don't think about every day to open up your mind a little bit, try something different. So let me know again what are your guys' favorites. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.